think you're an animal. Yes, I am. This is not just a review, it is also a field durability test. Watch this whole video to see what this thing can handle and what awesome tricks it can do. Oh my gosh, what? Where's the really bar? This is the blue version, which uh, I like it. We'll be taking this outside in just a minute as well. It's gonna be awesome. It's got instructions of your parts diagrams and part numbers and all the, all the important things. Stickers, extra body clips, a headlight kit, a USB charger. It also comes with a wheelie bar in there that you can either install or just leave the rear bumper alone. So it does, of course, not have oil-filled shocks. We'll have to upgrade that. We're gonna add the stickers to it later. So this one does only come with one battery. It's in the truck. And it's just comes with a small little lithium ion battery. I like to run these on LiPo because it does give them a little more pep. It's got a chassis brace just like most HBX cars do. The one HBX that we have that doesn't have a chassis brace has been snapped in half by the one and only Maxwell. No chassis brace. So I'm happy to see that this one has one. So this is very similar to the 16890 that we have minus the fact that we put larger tires on it pretty much the same car i'd say um the biggest differences would be in the rear suspension this one just has links while this one has full control arms also the shocks are mounted to the rear of the lower control arms while on this one they're mounted to the front I don't know what difference that'll make, but um, it's just something to take note of. It's the same ESC, the same motor. So for the most part, deciding between which of these trucks you should get, just go with whichever one looks better to you or whichever one has the more appealing price point at the time. This one actually comes with these wheels, very similar. They're the same size, but just have a different tread pattern. We added those because it does actually make it a lot more fun. We may end up doing that to this one as well later. I just switched the bodies for a quick second because that truck does look epic with those bigger tires. Maybe we'll put these on it. Nah, these are for another project coming up. If you haven't seen our videos on this yet, we have completely upgraded it to metal. Differentials, drive shafts plus oil filled shocks, the bigger tires. We've done a number on this and it is a beast. This is a fun car. So I imagine we'll do something different with this one. I don't know what yet. We just aren't ones to keep cars in their stock form for very long. Oh yeah. Can I drive it first? No. So just to go through it real quickly, it does have friction shocks, so they are kind of poopy. It's the pivot ball suspension, like all the HBX cars that we have. It has plastic axles, but we never had one of those actually break. So hopefully those will be okay for quite a while. Metal axles in the rear, but with plastic drive cups. We have run this car on 3S before, so this should be able to take a 3S battery as well, but the motor did get pretty hot quickly but that was with these larger tires. It may not happen with this. It takes Dean plugs batteries, but for our 3S, we have a makeshift adapter. For how tiny that motor is, it's literally about the size of my thumb. It has a lot of power. So I will probably put that wheelie bar on. I know it's a small car, but my biggest complaint is that the battery tray is so tiny. This is a battery for the WL Toys 144001 and it doesn't even fit in there properly. So when we run these larger batteries like this and our 3S, I usually, put some foam underneath it and strap it right there. There's not a whole lot else to say about these things except they're small, well-made, fast, and durable. So we're gonna take it outside, let's go.
No way! Good job! You seriously are the backflip king. You know that? Yes, I am. Give me that. Ooh! Ooh! leaning forward. Why is it doing all that? Hit the bump of terror and it still made it.
Well, I think it's safe to say that thing took an absolute beating out there. So let's see if there is any damage besides the two lost clips. We ran it until the battery died. Either that or uh, thermal protection kicked in, but I don't think it's hot enough for that. And that was only a 1600 milliamp battery. One of those little guys. It's very thin. Yeah, there's no damage. That thing took it like a champ. Definitely need to put that wheelie bar on. I meant to do it anyway and forgot. I'd say that the body is now ready to be peeled and stickers put on it. Oh, yes. But yeah, um, that car was awesome. It does need bigger tires. I just, I really, it just, I've got, I'm gonna have to put bigger tires on it. I can't help myself. And the oil, and it needs upgraded shocks. That was so hard to land stuff. It just bounces all over the place. But I'd say that was a sweet little run. Anywho, subscribe to this channel if you wanna watch more of our stuff. Like this video, cause that's super helpful. Cause this is the only place where you can watch Max destroy a box and awesome RC cars. Stickers. Looks even sweeter now than it did before. And here's where you can choose to watch more of our videos. And then subscribe too if you haven't already. Thanks so much.